Hi friends, today we will see a wireless configuration device TP-Link wireless N router its model WR840N its maximum speed is 300 Mbps today we will see how to configure this device as a wireless router and other different modules first of all uh, we will give its default IP, IP address 192.168.0.1 to uh, browser and access this uh, device we use we will use its default username and password admin and password is also admin in small letters then we click on login Here we will see its uh, different options, status, LAN and wireless 2.4 GHz band. It, it has 2.4 GHz router. Here, uh, the, here are different options which we will see. First of all, uh, we will uh, see its quick setup and uh, then click next. It has different options. Here wireless router, WSP, here access point, range extender, we will see uh, this time wireless router and we will also uh, see its different configuration option later. If we uh, configure these uh, options uh, in quick mode then we will click next. On this page uh, in, it has different options like auto detect, dynamic IP, static IP. Static IP means we will give statically IP. Dynamic IP means it will give uh, IP settings from DHCP or internet router and some other uh, options. These are different options uh, which we can use for its uh, configuration. <coughs> Next op option is operation mode. We also uh, we see already these options uh, and we discuss one by one. Uh, here in this configuration uh, video we will also we only discuss wireless router then we go to network option here different options on WAN connection uh, it's, it's uh, WAN settings it has different options like dynamic IP, static IP and other options we select as required according to our requirement then it has LAN IP LAN we can also change the WAN uh, LAN IP address 192.168.0.1 and other class are according to our requirement then we switch to wireless uh, settings here we we also select wireless enable or disable according to our requirement we can select wireless network name I can select it fast internet Here uh, it shows different modes like BG mixed uh, 11, BG and mixed its protocol, wireless protocol. Then we leave it wireless channel and channel with auto. Then we click on save. Next we see its WPS setting what is WPS we can enable or disable WPS function here um, if we enable this then we have to give pin um, pin on this router and uh, while we, our devices will connect to this wireless network give pin and then here uh, are different wireless security options like web web 2 personal uh, recommendation it ask its these are recommendation then web web 2 enterprise or simply web so the best option are web web 2 personal here version we will select version web web 2 encryption uh, we can select auto or tk or aes aes advanced encryption standard these are mostly used nowadays then we select wireless password we can give wireless password according to your own requirement <coughs> uh, 
then click on save here it gives a message Max minimum requirement of passport length is 8 character click on save here these options are wireless mac filtering if, if we allow different devices through mac address we can give allow or deny according uh, using this filter if we uh, only specify if we allow specific devices then we click allow and uh, add their mac address on this list then only then these devices only internet then devices only connect to this router which has MAC address uh, entered in allowed list then uh, there are option here guest network we can also enable guest network guest like our guests are uh, limited access we can use uh, this scenario for uh, different options time out schedule we can also manage schedule uh, and we can also give some time like uh, two hours one hour or different uh, time on which our guests are using this network then there is option is dhcp setting we can enable or disable dhcp if we can give start ip address range and end ip address range uh, to our devices according to our network according to our requirement then it's least time normally it's 120 it's time default time it's 120 default gateway and we this is optional default domain is optional dns server secondary these are all optional we can give or if we leave left uh, blank then there is no issue here we see DSCP client list these uh, devices which are connected here these address reservation and then forwarding we can also use port forwarding on this router this router is very good options <coughs> to port triggering and other, other DMZ on different options then move to security here these are options basic firewall we can enable disable then VPN option we can allow we can enable these options are disabled then ALG uh, the ALG is application layer gateways we can also enable or disable these options here this router has a lot of advanced options advanced security we can also enable and enable flood attack filtering different type of attack filtering we can enable or disable and then local management we can make different rules to manage this device and remote management we can also enable this uh, to manage this device remotely then parental control this is also a very good option to keep our kids uh, to allow some specific uh, websites for our kids and for other home persons access control list we also can all different type of um, access control list add in this router advanced routing here this is static routing and dynamic routing we also define these options bandwidth control this is also good option we can manage bandwidth uh, option to our users so a specific user cannot use the whole internet we can bend ingress bandwidth and ingress bandwidth uh, the what is the in, uh, uh, ingress bandwidth and ingress bandwidth the upload speed through the van port is, is called 
egress bandwidth, ingress bandwidth, the download speed through the WAN port. We also um, manage here and define here. Then IP and MAC binding. We can also enable and binding math, MAC address, dynamic uh, DNS option. These are different options. We can use these these option according to our requirement, according to our network, according to our organization policies. Then here system tools, uh, time zone setting. We can also define time zone according to our country. Then date and time. Then uh, here these are firmware update. We can also use firmware update uh, the latest setting and fix the bugs issues for latest firmware factory default we can reset the this router or to factory default setting if we required at any time backup and restore we can use the backup option once we have configured all the options and uh, we can restore at later stages, stages when we required then reboot if we want to reboot this router we can use this option password we can use this Mm, uh, option to change mm, default password system logs statistics we here a lot of different options then last is logout we can also use logout to uh, close our session this is the status we can use status uh, we can use the status and to monitor our internet speed and our other different option so these are the different options in TP-Link wireless router TLWR840N. Friends, I think you, you, this video will be helpful for you and you will like this video. Uh, so please uh, to, uh, to see more good videos, please like and subscribe my channel for uh, now I, I am uh, ending the session. Bye.